Welcome to Science with Father, a YouTube channel dedicated to sharing science with you in a fun and interactive way. Enjoy! <laughs> I think I'm finally gonna win. Oh, it's about time. Just look at these cards. I have to win. These cards can't get any better. I'm gonna win. I know I'm gonna win. Just look tired. Don't let anybody know. Just relax. What? No way! Do you have a feeling for low probability events? How is probability for simple things like drawing cards from a deck even calculated? Knowing how to calculate probability can be a very useful and informative skill. It can also provide insights into low probability events like earthquakes and winning lottery tickets. Let's give this a try. There are 52 cards in a deck of cards. What is the probability that I will pick the same card as you? Pick any card and remember it. I picked the seven of hearts. The probability that yours and my choice matched is calculated from this relation. The number of desired outcomes divided by the total number of possibilities times 100. There is only one desired outcome but 52 cards in the deck. So the probability comes out to be 2%. It can be difficult to relate to low probability events. Let's see if card drawing can help us out. According to a recent United States Geological Survey report, the probability of a severe earthquake occurring in the next 30 years, 30 years. on the San Andreas Fault in California is 59%. 59%? Wow! To help us out, let's first convert this probability from per 30 years to per day. 59% is the probability per 30 years, so the probability per day would be 59% divided by the number of days in 30 years, which is 10,950. So the probability of an earthquake happening on any particular day on the San Andreas Fault is 0.00. .00 5%. Sounds like a low number, but just how low is it? Let's see if we can get a feel for this probability. This time, pick three different cards. Let's see if you can match what I'm going to pick in any order. Ready? I pick the Five of Diamonds, the Jack of Clubs, and the Nine of Diamonds. What is the probability that you and I pick the same three cards? Since we are making three choices, we must apply the relation once for each choice and multiply the results. The first choice, we have three desired outcomes with 52 cards in the deck. The second choice, there are two desired outcomes with 51 cards left in the deck because one card has been removed. With the third choice, there is one desired outcome left and 50 cards left in the deck. So for someone living on the San Andreas Fault, the probability on any single day of an earthquake happening is the same as two people drawing and matching three randomly chosen cards in any order from two decks of cards. Have you ever bought a lottery ticket? The probability of winning a recent Powerball was 1 in 175 million. 1 in 175 million? Sounds difficult. Let's see if we can get a feeling for just how difficult it is. Pick seven different cards and let's see if you can match what I will pick in any order. You can write them down so you won't forget. Ready? I pick the Six of Spades, the Ten of Spades, the Queen of Clubs, the Nine of Spades, the Ace of Hearts, the Two of Clubs, 
and the Queen of Hearts. What is the probability that you and I pick the same seven cards in any order? The first choice, we have seven desired outcomes with 52 cards in the deck. The second choice, six desired outcomes with 51 cards left in the deck. If we multiply each of the seven choices together, we come up with the same probability as 1 in 175 million. To give you one last feeling for low probability events, imagine your local hospital where babies are delivered. Whether the baby is a boy or a girl is completely random. How many girls do you think would have to be born in a row to equal the probability of winning a Powerball jackpot? which is 1 in 175 million. Guess, 5, 10, 100 baby girls born in a row? Let's calculate it. Just one girl being born is 1 half times 100, which is 50%. Two girls born in a row is 1 half times 1 half times 100, or 25%. Three girls born in a row is 1 half times 1 half times 1 half times 100, which is 12.5%. If we keep going, we'll find that 27 girls born in a row is the same probability as 1 in 175 million. Crazy! 27 girls born in a row is the same probability as winning a typical national lottery. Let's review. The probability for a desired outcome can be calculated as follows. The number of desired outcomes divided by the total number of possibilities times 100. We can get a feel for very low probability events simply by drawing cards. For example, the probability of two people drawing the exact same seven cards is the same probability as winning the lottery.